I don't know if I should do this one or not. Yeah, I was debating it beforehand. And I told myself, yeah, screw it, just do it. <clears throat> I don't know again. My question was about overcoming adversity. Fuck it, I suppose I can always not post it, right? <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Adversity is going to be different for everybody. You know, what's adverse to me may not be adverse to you. It may not be adverse to somebody else. So all that needs to be kept in mind. It's also part of life. You know, anybody that says otherwise is full of shit. So... Here's how I see it. It's how I've always seen it. There's no mystery, because I've written about it, put it in a book, talked about it before. I used to get my ass kicked a lot as a kid. And it's it's not a, this is not any victim bullshit. You know, I'm not gonna go down that street because I obviously benefited from it more than at the time. But growing up with learning disabilities and every every title at the time that they had and i remember ld add adhd learning disabled um retard was thrown out there by one of my principals um anyhow that ends up putting you in you know special classes um you get teased bullied whatever you want to call it quite a bit so it was it was kind of routine for me to get my ass kicked and um not just by one i mean jump don't want to get in all that but I, i'm gonna use I'm, i got i'm going somewhere here just follow me and then at the end of the video i'll have you know a takeaway from this whole thing which which matters because all this is kind of what got me into strength training of kind of you know it strength training certainly freaking helped <clears throat> so i remember once When I wrote about this in my book, Raising the Bar, there was one time I was coming home and I don't know how old I was at the time. It was still elementary school though. And walking home and somebody tagged me with a tether ball. It's a ball, it's got a chain on it. You know, kind of wrapped around my feet, boom, knocks me on the ground. Three or four people jump on me, just kick the shit out of me. Rub my face in dog shit. All, all that, people cheering them on, all that kind of stuff. But here, here's the point here, is <clears throat> what I realized with that one, because that one kind of changed everything, because it also got my tooth knocked out throughout the whole process. That one changed everything, because when I was on the ground getting my ass kicked, what I realized is after a while it doesn't hurt anymore i mean you protect your vulnerable parts right so you, you curl up you, you protect your head you're protecting your ribs because you're getting kicked and all this shit all over the place so you just you just sit there and you just keep fucking taking it until it kind of lets go right but as you're sitting there taking it you're trying to figure out when do i get up what am i going to do when i get up what's going to happen when i get up so to get off of this story here is when I stood up that time, it was it was pretty much going to be the last time I was ever going to hit the ground again. So a lot of things changed after that. A lot of things I also realized after that. The people you think are going to be there to help you up never are. Um, the people that you think would be there to support you never are. Um, the people that you never expect to support from are there. You know, so a lot of things that you think a normal end up being upside down so where's this going when when i look at adversity when you get taken down 
A, are you a ground fighter or are you a, a, a top fighter? You know, if you're a ground fighter, then you're going to figure out how to pivot and move when you're down on the ground. If you're not, you, while you're down there, while, while you're basically getting kicked and while you're going through this adversity, take whatever they have to fucking take out. Let them exhaust themselves. You have basically no control except protecting what's most important, right? So for a lot of gym owners over the past year that I consulted with and helped with, it's how do you protect your investment? Right. All this bullshit's going on. You're getting kicked. You're getting all this bullshit coming at you. How do you protect what's most important? How do you protect what keeps that business breathing? How do you protect, you know, if you're uh, an athlete training, just in a general training process, how do you protect what's most important, your ability to recover? How do you protect these things while being pummeled in adverse conditions? So you protect that right on the ground getting your ass kicked you're protecting your face you're protecting your ribs you're protecting all those things that's a natural instinct right that's not a natural instinct when you're getting hit with all these other burdens that life can throw at you you need to think about that how do you protect these things when all this shit's coming at you and then once those things are protected you got to start thinking about your strategies here what's the first what's the short-term strategy when are you going to get up is you get up too soon, you're going to get taken right the fuck down real fast. You get up too late, nobody else is around. And you got up too late because everybody, everything's gone. You get up too late, everything's taken away from you. You can't do that either. So your short-term strategy is when do you get up? Like, what's that? But whatever it is, even if it's, you know, business, life, training, what, what's that short term? What's that first short pivot? And then what's the medium pivot here? What are you immediately going to do after you get up? Where are you going to go? What's the first actions? You can't get up until you know what those first actions are. So you can have the short-term strategy, but you also need to have an idea of what that medium strategy is going to be. And then you need to know what that long-term strategy is essentially going to end up being. Because you don't, you don't start getting back up until you're ready to start taking some ass, until you're ready to start really fucking taking some ass. You don't stand back up until then. You can get up and stay on a knee while you're working out whatever that next plan is, but you don't stand up too quick to get taken back down. That's on you, that's within your control. There's a lot of these things that are associated with this that are not in your control. Get, when do you get back up, how you get back up, at what pace you come back up, all that's within your, your control. The strategy that you're gonna start laying out, that's within your control. The, the, what you don't want to do is to have no fucking strategy. You don't want to lay on the ground just crying your eyes out, worrying, that, then thinking somebody's going to come fucking help because they won't. You don't want to be laying on the ground thinking that so-and-so is going to help you, so-and-so is going to help you because they're not going to be there. You have to be laying on the ground, figuring this shit out for yourself, planning that strategy from there. Once you understand this whole process of how this works, once I started to understand this whole process and how this works and also understanding you are not, you are going down again. You don't know where it's going to come from, from, you know, it, it's just part of that. That's it. You go down, you get up, you go down, you get up, but there's a process to that. You know, there's also a process of protecting your ass. So it's not easy to take you down again. You know, you build a fucking moat, build walls, build whatever you have to do to make sure you're not getting taken back down with something that's already familiar to you. You can get be taken down on those other things, but a lot of this is within your control. The reaction is within your control. The main action may not be, but the reaction is, and that is how you overcome adversity. <laughs> now am I gonna post this or not? If I do post this, put in the comments how you guys overcome your adversity. Because um, it's just my way, right? Everybody's going to have their own way. I'm not saying my way is the right way, but we do know right now there's a lot of people dealing with this. More so than we've probably had maybe in history, definitely in my lifetime. So if I do post this, it's, it's for them. 
So if you have strategies or if you've seen something that could help other people, post it in the comments. I don't care if it's a link to our freaking competitors. I don't care. You know, just put it out there. And um, thank you guys. If you have any other questions for these, I don't even know what I'm going to call these things, the post-workout cigar. That's kind of a shake. It is what it is. God, did I just say that? I hate people that say that. Till next time.